Okay, Roger again. This, today we're talking about sterile neutrinos. Very exciting anomaly, major experiment, huge new physics. The elusive sterile neutrino. They think they spotted it. Alright, the results are very exciting, says Los Alamos National Laboratory physicist Steve Elliott. Well, we, I have some results to show, and I believe we've seen the sterile neutrino for quite some time. All right, this is from our light experiments, and it is accelerated light to where it starts to take on this pattern, which I believe is its natural structure, but you can't see it because it's not illuminated, it's not concussing, it's not radiating. And here it is, right? And you can see the radiance versus the trailing one. So it's coming forward and it's concussing and I hope you can see that as well, all those little particles in front of it. They glow as it pushes them out of the way. Any white particle pushing another white particle glows. The black ones appear to have to be attached to white. It appears the white cannot live without the black, but it appears the black can live without the white. That's your dark matter. Now I'm going to show you that we can see that is the muon. The muon nu neutrino. That is the electron neutrino. These were also called point particles because they can get bigger and smaller. These are fixed particles. And that's the terminology that, that Fermilab uses. So don't forget, normally they're attached. These would never be apart from that. That's why they're so rarely, you, they see it. However, what we did was we crushed their fields. And we use just pulse red laser, or well, different colored lasers. They all do the same thing. They all have the same architecture. All right, now, the muon neutrino was a black ball, and the electron neutrino was a white ball. Black and white, black and white. It was like that. Now, they don't realize that they are attached together, but they know, or they, they don't realize they're in a photon ar arrangement is a four-banger box. And that's like a neutral particle. This is an electron. When it's just got the two of them, that's an electron. Two back-to-back -back make a photon. Photons bounce, electrons burn. Now, this is your black particle, which is the muon. If it doesn't stay attached to the white one, it's sterile. It's sterile. It's all by itself. Sterile means it's, it's not being infected by anything like this white one. And here it is going sterile. There's the sterileness. And the black comes around. Now, I say, and I'm pretty damn sure what I'm saying, is that that white is extremely aggressively powerful, which you can see, and it cannot live without the black instantaneously. Right here, all the Higgs fields start to show up again, and they, bam, they reattach. And in between here, I believe we have raw energy, which we could harvest, I, I think. I'm not certain of it, but I can't, I can't do the, the research on this. I can show you that separation of these powers, and that's all it is. A battery is nothing more than separating the powers, the positives from the negatives, and that's exactly what we just did. Now, this sort of just lays it out in a good-sized graphic, but you saw the particles attached, and green, red, blue, they're all the same. You saw what they said from Fermilab. This was them. They said, they, well, here it is. I can blow it up a little bit, I think. All right. There it is. Muon neutrino. Stays black. There it is right there. Normally it was attached to the electron neutrino. And the electron neutrino turns into a shower. And there that is. And here it is actually occurring. And this is when the particle begins to show itself. Back here, you can't see anything until it starts to accelerate. You wouldn't see anything. There's all kinds of light waves coming through here, but the only one that's radiant enough at this point is the one directly in line with the Venturi. Now, when it explodes here, it pushed back, and now we can see all the fields that are out here that are just floating around. They're particles, and they, they would turn into fields if they were pushed against, just like this is pushing through and turning into a field itself. There's a particle in here, that particle I showed you the one right up here. So that accounts for the particle wave. The wave is just because it's coming through and everybody's got to get out of the way. You get out of the way. It's just like a boat. Now, up here, this is from Fermilab. This is not me. This is the dark 
fixed particle which just never changes. I agree with that. And it has a glow around the outside. Absolutely, I agree with that. There it is right there. And this is the point particle which is this one right here, the little tiny one, and it glows like crazy. All right, this just gives you a bit of an idea of the different power. The group, this is the red and green, same time coming through the same venturi. The red just gets pushed out of the way and stops here. The green pushes it out of the way and then reconcusses way out here. And it's the same particle we see every time. All right, what I showed you before was the laser pulsing, constricting here, separating the powers. Separation means fission. Fission means they divided. You could see it. There's no question. And then the red showers, and then fusion came back here. Well, what if we made it forces it through our our equipment before it came back to reattach? Could, could we do that? I think we might be able to. We need a solar harvester of some sort. MIT just came up with a heat solar type collector which this would probably be extremely hot right in that one exact spot but then once it reattaches to the other particles it's not hot anymore and then we could take a little bit of this and continue running the laser and still have excess i think we might be able to get free energy but it'd have to be looked at by somebody that has the resources to have some engineers to make a little design and see if they can come up with ex ex excess energy here. Now, I think Cornell, back in 2013, I believe, they had the two P2H particle, which is the ones I'm showing you, two, a black and white and a black and a white, two particles, two holes. And that's what they were talking about, a neutrino back then. And they said they could, they detected excess energy, excess energy, more energy than they had put in. Now, that's my remembrance of it. I'm getting old. <laughs> but it was almost 10 years ago. But I, as, as I recall, that's what happened. All right, as I said before, I don't think the, the white can live without the black. But it appears that the black can live without the white. And I've shown it in a multiple ways. And they say that they, there's all these millions of black holes. Well, we actually saw one that the Russians did in space. Now, they injected charged particles. So those are the white particles and they injected them into a vacuum chamber in space and, and they just sort of, well, I'll play it here, hold on. But just sit around for a second and then they try to figure out where are we going to collect and they collect around a black hole because that is the other side of their glowiness and you'll see that they actually show up as a hole in the center here they are, now I see it bounce, 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 bounce right, that's enough bouncer, roger no, bounce, 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 bounce. Anyway, what's in here? Nothing. It was zero. That's your black hole. And that was created because it was in a vacuum chamber. You wouldn't see this normally. And I understand why. Because the vacuum chamber itself is coated with electrons which push in. That's why it's bouncing up here, bouncing up here. It's trying to bounce this. There is still flattened out a little bit. And the reason it's flattened out a little bit, I believe, is it's being pulled or pushed by the walls are closer here than they are here. So it's sort of squeezing that black hole. If it was completely as one square block, you'd have a circle in the center. All right, that's one of my videos called Trillions of Black Holes Near Us.